M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So OpenGD77 have this new color theme and it's all thanks to Daniel F1 RMB. Thank you very much. Now this isn't the firmware, how to load the firmware. That's I've got a separate video of that and I'll put that in the description. This video is just to show you how you can play around with the colors. So if you go to extras, theme editor, you get this window, okay? And what you do is just select one you want to change, say, say that one there, for, ex for example, and then just choose a color and you can change it, which is really nice. And then once you've done that, you can write to the radio right from this window, okay? Now my friend, so if you look at my radio now, it's very nice looking, we go menu, we even go to satellites, watch this. I love the satellite feature on this device. And look at that, we can select the satellite, and look, even the colors on the satellite you can change. You've got green, yellow, blue there, and, uh, and so on. And if we select again, pretty sure we get the, can't remember, I've done it for a while. Oh, there it is there. You get the frequency, the RX, TX, with the Doppler shift and everything. So how good is that? You know, just that alone makes GD77 amazing. Anyway, but look at this regarding, we're on about the colors here. Now this is my code plug, I'm using the, the proper Open GD77 code plug. If you ins ever install this, remember, you, it's two installs. You, it, you, I know it sounds weird, but you install the firmware for the MD9600 first, which is like the backbone for what then takes the, the main firmware that you can see. And it will go on an RT3S dual band MD380 UV or 390. It's got to be the dual band. And you have to, do and I'm pretty sure it will accept the newer models now. They've done a firmware update on that, haven't they? So watch this. I'm going to open a theme that my friend sent me from his radio. So you go open theme and there's a file. And let me show you how to save the theme first. So this, my, this is my file. I'm going to go save. And then we'll call this my theme. It's a red one, and then we'll go M0FXB, okay? Like so, and we'll save it, and it saves a file, okay? Uh, and let's, I'll show you what the file looks like when I bring in my friend's one. So we'll go open theme, and the file, this one here, M6LSJ GTM, so it's a GTM file, whatever that means. That's now been put onto all these colors here, and we can now write it to the radio. You watch my radio, it's going, to all ch it's going to change colors. I won't lose my code plug, everything will be the same, but my radio will now look different because this is what my friend Lionel M6LSJ has done to his radio. And there's all the satellites. Okay. And then if I want to put my theme back on, then I'll just quickly show you how, you're, how you do it on the radio. So I'll just go open theme. And if anyone wants my theme, Message me, you can have it. Um, or, or Lionel's desktop. My theme is, uh, where is it? Is it pretty sure it was that Colors GTM one? There, and then click right, right to radio. Should go back to red, yeah. And uh, I've already saved the theme. I've got a save theme file. I'll just make sure I've got a couple of copies. Red RT3S. Save. I've saved it and then I can write to the radio, but programming the radio is no different than before. You know, you've got your talk group lists here. Let's just close this, click OK. Talk group lists. Zones, sorry, zones which contain all the channels. We don't really do DTMF. Digital, con digital contacts, channels are down here, lots of channels. Nothing else has changed really. The, the whole using of to open GD77 is the same. If you want a copy of my code plug, message me. I'll send you a copy. File, save. It's going to save it up here. Original code plug, save. I'm going to click yes. Right, okay. And then I'll just quickly show you on the radio. So on the radio, to change the colors, you go menu, go to options, if I can find it. options then look for themes on in this case I go up one select and then you can go up and down the different things you've got background text default these are all decoration and if you want to change one push the hash and then you'll this will appear and you turn the top knob to change colors now mine for some reason the colors aren't changing 
But that's the way you do it. You change the colors and then you've selected it and you back out. Probably have to select that. I don't understand why mine aren't changing. Someone let me know if they know why. Otherwise, that's it. Menu, last heard. Oh, see, I've done that in red, see? So last heard, it makes sense to change that color, not to red. Radio info, battery, done satellite. GPS is off. Not sure if this radio's got GPS. I can't remember, actually. Should we turn it on? Is it up and down? This radio might not have GPS. Back, zones. I've got those colors in yellow. Contacts, DMR contacts in yellow. Got DTMF as well. Channel details in black by the looks of it. Firmware info. And then you go back. I mean, it's such a big menu. You've got shortcuts on here as well, all kinds of stuff on this. So thanks for watching my channel, 73. Check it out. Big thanks again to Daniel, F1RMB. 73, all the best.